Yeah, I wanted to show a video here on a DX6 with the MIMO antennas. It's basically going back and forth. I've already done a modification where I went with connectors. That's not what I'm trying to show in this video. I just want to show output power and amplification. And we have right here the Sun Hands dual channel amplifier. And I wanted to show right now for the US version, you're about 100 milliwatts of RF power that's coming out. And it's alternating back and forth, and the idea is you do vertical, horizontal polarization. It's called MIMO, MIMO, multiple input, multiple output. But this one just multiple output. Yeah, but I'm going to be taking up the power, so I want to get the range up on the little tiny uh, receivers, which are the tiny whoops here. I'm going to try to get the range out to a mile on those which would be the limit of what I'd want to fly. So I got this dual channel. I was a little disappointed to see that it's just two of the single channel. They literally just put two of them in a case, which would be fine if you want to slap it on the back of your transmitter. Yeah, since they're not doing anything special in the two channel, I'm just going to go ahead and get two of the single channels and then I can mount those right inside the box and what's going to be really cool is I can use chip these are just plain old uh, chip uh, antennas and I can mount the antennas in the radio with one watt power and one will be horizontal the other one here will be vertical and I'll be able to do one watt power with no antennas and also real good radiation pattern because the way this radio defaults this is your horizontal antenna which I've already removed when I converted this to external which if you want to see I can show you here I just basically soldered on if I do it again though, I would just use adapters. You can get adapters to go external. Those are IPX connectors in there. And then you can go to regular SMA. But this, basically all I want to show in this video is output power and then my plan to modify the transmitter. I'm going to do another video on modifying the transmitter. So anyway, 100 milliwatts. I'll show you now I'll show you what the amplifier does oh and by the way it doesn't hurt these transmitters not having RF attached not having your antenna attached while it's on I mean I wouldn't want to leave it there for a long time because you'll smoke it now the amps a different story you don't want to be running this amp with no antenna you'll smoke it but you're not gonna smoke the 100 milliwatts there's not enough power there so let's power up the amp. So we got 100 milliwatts going in, and uh, let's see what our output is. Plug in right here. So look at that, a nice 1300 milliamps. Let's put the case on, see if it makes a difference. I didn't think it would. So 1300. So this is a good amp. I did a range test with my goggles, which I have another. This is Clearview, it's been modified. I got a video on it if you're interested. I was glad to see that the interference, I literally have to bring my goggles really close to the antenna to start seeing lines on the video. So I think this is gonna work. You can do one watt transmit power on a clean amplifier. Sunans are usually very clean. This is DSMN, DSMX protocol, which is the advantage of DSMX is that when you're high power, you're not gonna be killing everybody's Wi-Fi. 
because if you're doing a Tyrannus and you're bumping up the power, you're really going to be doing a hog on your signal. The, the duty cycle is very short on this and the Wi-Fi is still going to work. And since it's a clean amplification, uh, I think I would recommend using a legal because the DSM-X, even the DSM-2 are both legal. Use legal, legal protocols and then you amplify them and you're not going to hurt too many people when you fly your aircraft. And uh, so, but I'm going to send this one back and I'm going to do the mods inside the radio. It's going to be really cool. I'm going to have it auto power on, power on the amplifier, and a bunch of cool stuff. So anyway, not too much on this video. Just nobody has a video showing, doing a MIMO application on the spectrum. So I just wanted to show... You want to do a quick and dirty, boost your power, just get this and just, just wire it in. You can actually get a connector. If you don't want to do any soldering, this is the IPX on one end. It'll plug right into the spectrum module. Just get your cable to be IPX to SMA. And then you could uh, just basically just strap that right to the back. Have your antenna sticking out 90 degrees. And, uh, and then do an easy mod, but I'm going to do a much cooler, more factory looking uh, mod where everything's inside the radio. I know the video I didn't show too much on it, just showing power levels. And uh, there'll be more to come. Hope you like watching the video. Thanks for watching.